every black woman is not suffering from cancer. Hi, I'm Joshika. Welcome to my channel. I am an Air Force veteran, a filmmaker, author, and CEO of Joshika Beauty. And a little bit about Joshika Beauty, it's a natural hair and skincare brand that celebrates Afro texture hair and self-care. And we believe in growing your hair while growing your self-worth. I put out a video about how black women are getting played because they're wearing wigs and weaves. And I got some comments in my comment section about how women are wearing wigs and weaves because they might be sick or have cancer. But black women are not wearing wigs and weaves because they have cancer or sick. They're wearing weaves because they choose to. And I pray for those with cancer, you know, because that's not something to play with. My father passed away due to cancer and I wouldn't wish that on anybody. But if you have a choice to wear a hair wig and weave and you're wearing it just for the fun of it, then honey, it's time to let that go. One of the things you have to get hip to black women is that a lot of these beauty brands and these beauty products, they can't be trusted. They're, you know, we're finding out that relaxers can cause cancer, that certain hair that you buy, the packs of hair have chemicals on it. They can't be washed out. C cancer causing chemicals, carcinogens. And, you know, these big beauty brands are buying up the black owned hair care products that started off as black owned and have formulas that work for our Afro texture hair. And then they get bought by these big beauty brands and the formula changes and now all of a sudden black women's hair is falling out. I mean, you can't trust these some of these beauty brands out there. You have hair that grows out of your scalp and you're wasting your money that you could be saving in this economy, honey, by doing your own hair. Especially when you have straight hair, straight wigs and weaves. I see some women with natural hair wigs and weaves, which, hey, if you must. However, you have your own hair. It grows out of your head thick and full and luscious. And I know that those wigs and weaves is messing up your hair. I know that firsthand because I used to wear weaves and I used to have my hair out on the top and in the front and I used to flat on it a lot and notice that it started thinning and I had a lot of heat damage because I was flat ironing it so much. And then I was wearing lace fronts before lace fronts were even a thing back in 2008. I remember I had a lace front I bought it from the beauty supply store and it was like a jet black lace front and it was curly. I had the glue in, on the edges and everything and I was putting that lace front on. And then when I went to go take the lace front off, <laughs> I had a time trying to get it off of my edges and people were telling me to use oil, use this, use that. And I used the oil and it wasn't working because my edges were still ending up on their lace when I took it off. And I learned my lesson there. I was like, nah, I can't keep doing this, obviously, because my edges are falling out. And so that's what's happening to a lot of black women today. Like you have to learn from your mistakes. If you're making a mistake of putting these weaves and wigs on your hair and your edges are breaking off, then it's time to let it go and start taking care of your natural hair. Because let's face it, women, we're getting older and our hair is changing. Our bodies are changing. We're going through so much. And if you have to worry about covering up your head and putting on wigs and weaves, it's going to be uncomfortable for you. I was talking to this one older lady the other day and she was letting me know how she can't do wigs and weaves anymore. She wants to wear her natural hair because her hot flashes will not allow her to be comfortable with the wig or a weave. And then she talked about how her hair is thinning out. And that stuff happens when you get older. And who wants to go through that? The thinning out of hair and losing hair, losing edges. 
in your elder years because you didn't take care of your hair when you were younger. Nobody wants to deal with that. So let's start changing our habits and making better decisions and hair choices so that we don't have to suffer with hair loss and damage and baldness when we get older. And we can't keep making excuses, especially these lame excuses about how our hair is too high maintenance and it takes too much time to do. It's just hard to manage. I don't spend all day washing my hair. I don't. I don't. And it doesn't take all day to wash your hair. It does not take all day. You do not have to have a wash day. Like a whole, you know, ritual where you light candles and put on your music and you sit around and watch your favorite movie while you twist and braid your hair. It doesn't have to be that complicated. All you have to do is when you, after you wash your hair and condition it, you add your gel, finger detangle, add your leave-in, and seal it in with some oil or some shea butter. That takes about 10 minutes. It takes about 10 minutes. And if you want to maintain a wash and go throughout the week, it probably takes about five minutes to add the leave-in and the oil again. And then you're out the door. So I don't want to hear nothing about straight hair and wigs and weaves being easy to maintain or manage. It's just all in what you like and your preference and what style you're trying to achieve. And most women don't like their Afro hair texture or their Afro style they say their hair is too dry if your hair is too dry that's because you have not mastered the loc method that's a liquid oil and cream a lot the, or the lock method where you use a leave-in uh you know liquid-based leave-in or some type of water you add your oil or your cream add your oil and your cream it's when you try to get these twist outs and braid outs where you leave your hair out without adding any moisture to it for a whole week, two weeks, that your hair gets dry. And you have to know that you have to apply your leave-in every day to your curls because your hair gets dry when you go to sleep. And if you want to know more about wash and goes, you can go to my website at joshuabeauty.com and check out my latest blog where I talk about wash and goes. Or you can follow me on Instagram where I share some tips about wash and goes. And so if you're looking for products, you can go on my website as well for that. I have an amazing curl softening cream and a shea hair butter. And I've designed all these things to make it easier for us black women. And I don't just have products, but I wrote a book called The Strength of Your Strands to encourage black women out there who are still wearing wigs and weaves And to encourage us natural women to continue to stay natural and love who we are and to let them know that you're on the right path if you decided to go natural. And congratulations to all the Black women who are rocking their afros, their curls, their braids, their twists, all the women who went natural because you're no longer stuck in the matrix trying to find yourself in this society where everything is telling you that European beauty is normal for you to achieve and that that is the epitome of beauty. You have gotten out of the sunken place. You've learned to accept yourself and you have a sense of self-awareness and you are sure of who you are for the most part. Now, I know hair is not the end-all, be-all, but you have realized something. You have awakened to something that's very important, and that is self-acceptance and self-love. You're no longer hating who you are. And that's an important life lesson that a lot of Black women have to wake up and learn. Everybody's experiencing different things at different times in their lives. I had an aha moment one day when my husband saw my hair for the first time after I took a shower and it was wet and curls were popping, he convinced me that my hair was beautiful and it was just really tightly curled. And, you know, I argued with him about it. And we had this, it was a heated argument. We were going back and forth. I was telling him why my hair was nappy and it was not cute and it just wasn't for me. And he was telling me how beautiful it was. And it wasn't until that point in my life that I heard someone say that my natural hair was beautiful and that I should wear it out and love it. And so I know a lot of women don't hear that their natural hair is beautiful or that they should love their natural hair. 
And um, and a lot of people, a lot of women just don't believe it. They haven't accepted that yet. So I know it takes time. So we're all on our different journeys and we're all taking time to realize who we are and our purpose in this life. And so I hope that wherever your purpose is, that you find it and that you realize that you are beautiful. Your hair is beautiful. The things that you have, the good things you have to offer this world are beautiful and the world needs that. The world needs you to be who you were created to be. And if you're not walking as your authentic self on this earth, if you're not being who you are and you're comfortable in your own skin, then you're doing the world a disservice. So I'll say it again. Let the weaves go. Let the wigs go. They're not beneficial to you at all. They're just damaging your hair in the long run. Love yourself. Wear your natural hair. Love it and own it.